here we can let u be equals to 1 over root x and uh, we rewrite this again and we have u, 4 raised to power u plus 16 raised to power u which is equals to 64 raised to power u and also we can change everything here in form of base 4 we have 4 raised to power u here then plus 4 square we give us 16 then raised to power u then equals to 4 cube then that will give us 64 then raised to power u from law of indices we can interchange you know this part and we can write this again as 4 raised to power u plus 4 raised to power u then squared equals to 4 raised to power u then raised to power 3 and from here as well we can also represent 4 raised to power u with a letter so let t be equals to 4 raised to power u and uh, we rewrite this again as t plus t squared then equals to t cubed then we can use this to form an equation a cubic equation so when we take everything to this side so we write t raised to power 3 then minus t squared plus we become minus then also minus t then we have we are left with 0 on this side which is equal to 0 so we can factor t out from here we have t out then remain t squared here then minus t minus 1 which is equal to 0 so we have two cases here we have t equals to 0 and uh, we have t squared minus t minus 1 equals to 0 and from here we represented t as 4 raised to power u we should take note that this should be greater than 0 because if we have 4 raised to power u it should give us a number greater than 0 so that means we will not take this value of t now let's solve for t here from this quadratic we can use the formula t equals to minus b plus or minus we have square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a and uh, we have a is the coefficient of t squared so we can say a equals to 1 from here b equals to minus 1 and c as well is minus 1 that is the constant so t will now be equals to minus minus 1 that's minus b plus or minus square root of minus 1 square that's b square then minus 4 a that's 1 then c minus 1 then all over 2 times 1 that's 2 a then by the time we solve this one now we have minus times minus that's plus that's 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 1 square is 1 then plus minus times minus that's plus plus 4 then over 2 so we have t to be equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2 or we have t to be equal to 1 t to be equal to 1 minus root 5 over 2 when we separate this we have two possible values of t and from here this value of t is less than 0 that means it won't satisfy the solution because t is expected to be greater than 0 so we take this value of t now then when we work with that we can bring the value of t here now as 4 raised to power u so this will now be 4 raised to power u equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2 and this is in index form we can change it to logarithm form and that means u will now be equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 
then base 4, which we can write in another way. When we change the base, we can say we have u will be equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2, then divided by log 4. So we have changed the base, and from there we have u to be equal to this. And don't forget that we represented u as 1 over root x. So instead of writing u now, we can write 1 over root x, and we have 1 over root x will now be equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2, then over log 4. And from there, we can take the reciprocal on both sides so that we are going to have root x left here. So the reciprocal on this side will give us root x. Then the reciprocal on this one will give us log 4 will be up now. Then divided by log 1 plus root 5 over 2. So from there, we want to find the value of x. Then we can take the square on both sides. So square on this side, we remove the square root. And we square this side as well. Then we have x will now be equal to. So when we square this out, we have this. So x will be equal to log 4 over log 1 plus root 5 all over 2. Then all square. So when we simplify this and uh, we square with our calculator, so we get something approximated to 8.2929. And then, uh, that will be the value of our x. And we have come to the end of this class. We say thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. See you in the next class. And bye for now.